have arrived in the city of Seven Lakes. We're tapping into Udaipur, the home of a fairy tale palace that's been voted the number one hotel in the world, Uday Villas. And the magic starts to drop from the sky upon arrival. Rose petals. Where did you get that idea for Uday Villas? Well, I've been to Udaipur many times. When we got this site on the lake, I said we should build a hotel that is a palace. Gazing out from a rooftop at sunset, the majestic domes mirror the mystical mood of a lakeside palace. A beautiful setting, oldest lake of Udaipur, Lake Pichola. A boat ride early in the morning on the lake has equal allure. Well, Udaipur is perhaps the most romantic and picturesque cities of Rajasthan. So what am I doing with you and not with my husband? <laughs> Although you are handsome. And Uday Balaz has created the most romantic settings imaginable for dinner with my husband later this evening. Exciting to walk into Uday Balaz and be showered with rose petals. Well, in India, there is a saying in Sanskrit, Atithi Devo Bhava, which means a guest is just like God. Udaipur, from the point of view of culture, history, traditions, it's one of the most important city in India. Why is that? because this was the only independent kingdom of India, having history of more than 1400 years. And from the very beginning, they were very kind to the people, generous. Because in Hindu religion, we believe in the law of karma. What you sow, you have to reap. Whatever you are doing for others, you will get things in return. So that's why everyone's really kind and nice and yeah, sweet here. Yeah. Reincarnation, there's something about that. It was a challenge to leave Uday Vilas, even for a minute. I was feeling so much namaste the time to experience the energy center of Udaipur. It's the Hindu Jadish temple built in 1651. Flower offerings for the temple. I could feel the energy as Belendra and I made the steep climb. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, I feel so blessed here. And at the top, more steep steps in this ornately carved Hindu temple. Once inside, the priest took me to the altar during this great celebration. This is the holy water, and people drink it. Oh, sure. Oh. And this is to take your negative energies away. And it is a blessing from the gods. And a symbol of life and color and energy. There's life, color, and energy right here. It's beautiful. What are they practicing to be happy? The most important thing is that you celebrate your life. And to find out it took 8.4 million incarnations to be human beings, why wouldn't we want to celebrate being here? So there's no time like the present to join the celebration. This happens every day. Every day. It happens every day, 365 days a year. So he blessed us, and we walked away with the takeaway. And if I've done that good karma early morning, then I would feel that the whole day is going to be good for me. The Maharanas must have had some sizable karma in the city palace. The oldest, longest surviving dynasties in the world. Really? Roots run very deep here in Udaipur, and Uday Vilas has a deep-rooted history. It was built around the centuries-old hunting lodge for the Maharanas. They used to organize a fight between wild boars and tigers here. You can have a look. And now, thankfully, it's a conservatory. We have a 22 acres of wildlife conservatory in our hotel. And we have animals like Indian spotted deers and peacocks. Wow, they're big. Feeding time for the free roaming wild boar. And the original painting show, the caretaker may just be a reincarnation. Is that you? My, my grandpa. Welcome to the Koinu Suite, Linda. Oh, it's beautiful. Suite is named after the Kuwanor Diamond, the most expensive in India. 2,650 square feet of size. Let's look at this. I can stay here for weeks. You know, and it has a beautiful view of the city palace from the suites. It's like the Arabian Nights. The architecture of the entire place is so beautiful. I told the architect, if after 10 years people don't ask which century was it built, then you're no good. <laughs> Obviously, Bicky kept his architect. He's always told us, you know, I don't want to be the biggest, but I want to be the best. Including the best spot for a yoga session. Overlooking Lake Pichu, I felt so much more balanced. <laughs> <laughs> this tree is bending, for the most part. And now to end the evening. Is there a more romantic dinner setting than this? Well, maybe minus a camera crew. One more time, ready? So, why do you think that Uday Vilas was voted the number one hotel in the world? Well, I think it's the people who work here who make this place really special. We're tapping in!